to date, we're going to fact check the media. They say it's white privilege because black woman Tanya McDowell got five years in prison for sending her son to the wrong school, while Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin only got a couple of weeks. So we're going to fact check this claim. Is it true? Is it racism? Or is it something else? Hey, my name is Nate the Lawyer, and welcome to the Brody's Bunch, where you are the jury of today's content. If your first time here, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you hear. Let's get to it. So I was on Twitter earlier, and Lori Laughlin is being released from prison today for her role in the college admission scandal. You know, where she paid to get her kids to go to the better schools, and it was like a whole big thing. So yeah, it was pretty crazy. So she did her, I think, two months, and she got out. So I went on Twitter, and I started to see this. Tanya McDowell, Tanya McDowell, Tanya McDowell gets five years. Lori Laughlin gets two months. Felicity Huffman gets 14 days. Travesty, right? Racism, racism, racism. And then I watched some shows, and they're also saying the same thing. So I said, well, wow. If a black woman does this, she gets five years. And if a white woman does it, she gets two weeks. This is crazy. So I looked into it. So we're going to fact check the media. Check this out. In 2012, Tanya McDowell received a five-year state prison sentence in Connecticut. Now, this was in connection to a plea agreement that she reached with prosecutors. Now, first, the truth. This did stem from charges that she had in 2011 for sending her son to the wrong school district, where she didn't live. Now, there were protests about this. Even Al Sharpton got involved. Check this out. Now, if we stop here, this story would be very similar to Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman, with no other facts. Here's the narrative that's being pushed in the mainstream media. $200,000 Lori Laughlin spent to say that her daughters were on the rowing team to get into USC, denying other people who were qualified to be able to to get into college. And the fact that Tanya McDowell, and we've all talked about her, spent five years in prison, still in prison, for just wanting to send her son to a better school. But Tanya McDowell is black. So you can see yeah. the, the racial Hello. disparity in here, and it makes me angry. That- so it sounds pretty outrageous, right? They wanted to send their kids to better schools. This black woman wanted to send their kids to better schools. The white women get days while the black woman gets years. Now, just to be clear, no one thinks that story is fair, right? But is there more to the story? So you come in for the facts? Let me give you the facts. Tanya McDowell had other charges that were included in this five-year plea agreement. And the fact that Miss McDowell has a previous conviction for bank robbery and criminal possession of a weapon, as reported by the CT Post. Now, prosecutors allege that she offered drugs and prostitutes to undercover officers. For instance, the Atlantic reports that in Bridgeport, Connecticut, she was facing two counts of sale of narcotics to undercover police officers. CBS News reported that in Norwalk, Connecticut, she allegedly sold crack cocaine and marijuana to undercover officers. Miss McDowell, at the time, was facing 29 charges, including drug manufacturing, possession of drugs near a school. Here's the headline from the Stanford Advocate. Tanya McDowell offered to sell drugs and pimp out prostitutes to undercover police. And some of this activity was even caught on recording. Her attorney, Mr. Crossland, he tried to separate the drug case from the school case, right? He tried to say, well, let's separate these two. But prosecutors and the judge was like, no, we're not going to split them all up. Plead to everything so we can get our lives on. So her lawyer said, well, she was facing more than 15 years if she went to trial, so she took the plea. Now, the plea bargain resolved all of the drug charges, all the pimping charges, all those charges were resolved in that plea agreement. And she got five years with five years probation and 12 years suspended sentence. Now, also, the court had to factor in the fact that she had a prior conviction for a bank robbery. Now, when it comes to sentencing, prior convictions do matter. Here's Whoopi Goldberg even making that point on The View. I don't think there's a chance that Lori Loughlin's going to end up getting 10 years, even if she's convicted. I agree, no. And so... And if, this is also first time right no. offenders. So, so, but the prosecutors no. are sending a message. They are yeah, absolutely but, sending but the, a message. But, you can, but you, they're sending a message, and then there's overkill. Now, from the Tanya McDowell story, there was some positive change. For instance, it's no longer a crime to enroll your children into the wrong school, right? They, 
that's a change for good. You shouldn't be criminalizing something like that. So if a parent wants to send their kid to a better school, they shouldn't criminalize that. They should just de-enroll the kid and say, you got to go to the school district and they find it, right? Just, let's keep it simple. But the media misinformation around this story has been so crazy because you can't really get honest facts. And people are still saying this claim. It's getting so bad that my wife watches this show called The Real. And in that show, they were still trying to make this point, still trying to run this lie. But one of the hosts, she stepped in and fact-checked the girl right when she started going down this horrible, horrible path. Check it out. Uh, and I think in comparison, which is the big issue for a lot of us, is obviously the other mother who went, is going to jail possibly for five years, like... For just putting her daughter, putting a different address so that her yes. child could go to a better school in a better district. Okay, I do want to, for, for Tanya yeah. McDowell, that's what yes. you're talking about. Yeah. That's a little different of a circumstance because there was allegedly drug issues involved with her. Which she gave the heavier sentence. Exactly, okay. because there were still students in Tanya's district yeah. that did that. They did not get jail time. Tanya allegedly brought drugs on the school and things uh, like that. Yeah. So that's the reason why you got yes. the jail time. That's yeah. why I'm saying, you guys, on Twitter, we have to be careful when people put yes. comparisons. comparisons you you got to look at each case. And last but not least, we have to also talk about the New York Times. Like, the New York Times did this article. Who's the tax cheat? The lady in jail, talking about Tanya McDowell, or the man in the White House? They go through this whole article. McDowell was sentenced to five years in prison in 2012, in part for drug offenses and in part for larceny because she had claimed her babysitter's address so her son could attend a better school in Connecticut. And they're saying the president is worse than this woman. Yeah, that's the New York Times. Insane, right? Insane. Now, this claim that Tanya McDowell's case and Felicity Huffman's case and Lori Laughlin's case are examples of racism is so bad and so outrageous, YouTube has to fact check it. Type it in, look, YouTube has an independent fact check on the claim. Insane, right? Facebook has also fact checked it as false too. So now you know the facts. So do you think this is a story of white privilege? Or do you think this is media misinformation? I think at the end of the day, stories like this hurt the cause. It hurts the cause for equality. People out there can't trust the stories that are coming out of the media. And I do understand, my conservative brothers and sisters out there, I do understand. It's a boy who cried wolf scenario, right? Everything is racist. And when you look behind it, you're like, there's no racism here. This is ridiculous. That's what's happening with this case. That's what's happening with a lot of these cases. Nuance is dead, right? You throw a black face up there and a white face, you put five years, you put 14 months, and people automatically assume the worst. Yeah, this is white privilege. Black people are getting shafted. Now, I want to be very clear. There are some instances of where, you know, people have gotten harsher sentences for doing the same conduct. Yes, true, okay. But this is not that. This is not that. I'm sorry. Hey, if you like what I do and you like what you just heard, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to this video. My name is Nate, lawyer, YouTuber, and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.